G'day fellas, how you going? This is the next video in a series I'm making about how to enter a cosplay competition and get the best possible results from your entry, okay? In this video, we're actually going to explore how to write a cosplay skit, okay? If you've done stage performances before, you've done drama performance before, you've probably got a really good idea of what's involved in this process. But if you're looking for a really easy way to write a good skit in a certain formula that'll work for anything that you write, watch this video, it's really going to be helpful, okay? Let's go. Okay, in writing a skit, it's typically going to be involving two people. Sometimes it'll just be a skit for one person where you do a dramatic monologue a lot of the time. But in most cases for a cosplay stage performance, it's going to involve two people. Okay, now it's very easy to write a bad skit. It's very easy to write a boring skit, okay? But you've basically got two and a half, three minutes, and your goal is to make the audience feel something. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that again. You've got two and a half to three minutes to make the audience feel something. Okay, that's your job. If they're not on the edge of their seat thinking, what's gonna happen next? Or if they're not laughing, if they're not angry at something, if they're not f crying about something that just happened on stage, you're not doing your job properly, okay? So what you really want to do fundamentally is explore the relationship between two characters, okay? Is it friendship? Is it romance? Are they enemies? Whatever it might be, you've your job is to make the audience feel something, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video in three steps. Okay, step one is choose the topic of your skits, whether it be comedy, whether it be romance, whether it be a fight scene, whatever it might be. But you've basically got two options to choose from, regardless of what you'd want your topic to be. You're either gonna, number one, recreate a scene from the series that you're doing. Maybe it's a very famous scene, maybe it's a very particular part of the series which doesn't get kind of talked about much, but you want to show that off because it's a really, uh, really touching scene or it's a really intense scene, whatever it might be. So number one, recreate something from the series that already exists. Your second option is to explore the relationship dynamic between two characters, okay? Now, in this case, Cosplay skits are usually quite broad. There's not really many rules regarding what the topic needs to be about. So that's your biggest strength. You can play with whatever you want. But typically, it's going to boil down to one of these two things. Either recreating a scene or exploring the relationship between two characters. In that one, it is more interesting because it's open to interpretation. You don't have to follow an exact script of what was in the series. You don't have to follow the exact plot points of what was in the series but all you need to do is take whatever history these two characters have got together and show that off in a very entertaining or very touching or very intense way, okay? So it could be a hero, it could be a, a hero and a villain. It could be two lovers, it could be two friends, whatever it might be. Typically what I've found, if you're writing a skit for the first time, hero and villain works easiest because there's conflict. And where there's conflict, it's easy to write something that's tense, it's easy to write something that's very very easy to show that there's conflict between two. It's easy to create drama. It's easy to create this tension, whatever it might be, okay? But whatever it needs to be, either recreate a scene or show the relationship between two characters, okay? So pick one of those two. Maybe you've got an idea of what that scene is, uh, but it needs to fall in that category of uh, what it's going to be. Comedy, romance, uh, tension, action, whatever it might be, okay? So pick your topic, pick your scene, pick your characters, what are they going to do? Now the second part of creating a good skit is actually writing it, okay? Now just like you've probably explored in your high school English class, there's a certain format that works well for stories, and it's no different for writing a stage performance, okay? But in this case, we've got three minutes to work with. Let's say three minutes, that's pretty common. Maybe it's two and a half, maybe it's three, but I'm going to set out this example in three minutes, okay? The first part is the introduction. The introduction is where you need to set the setting, you need to introduce the character, maybe both characters, whatever it might be. You've got about 30 seconds to do that, okay? Don't spend too long trying to figure out where we are, who am I talking about? That needs to be done very quickly, very concisely, in a fun, in a very fun way, or in a very in a dramatic way, whatever it might be. That's up to you. But you've got about 30 seconds to introduce 
what's going on. Keep in mind that whoever's watching this skit might not know what the series is. Your skit needs to make sense to anyone watching it, okay? So if you're writing the skit, keep in mind, if my parents are watching this, likely your parents don't watch anime. If they do, they're awesome parents. But if your parents are watching the skit, they need to know exactly what's going on, okay? There can't be any inside jokes. There can't be any humor which is hidden only to people who know the series. It needs to make sense to everybody watching it regardless of the background, okay? So, the first part of the skit, introduction. 30 seconds, introduce the characters, introduce the settings, make it clear, make it concise, but also do it in an interesting way. That's up to you, okay? The next 30 seconds, you need to introduce the source of conflict. Maybe you need to introduce the second character at this point in time, but you need to introduce what is going on. What is the source of tension for this performance? Maybe it's an evil villain coming onto stage wanting to destroy the world. Maybe it's two lovers coming together and for some reason they can't be together and they're going to explain why. Maybe it's going to be, uh, you know, two friends who once upon a time used to be friends but now they're not for whatever reason. You need to introduce this within the next 30 seconds, okay? So the introduction, introduce who's there, what's going on, where are we, 30 seconds. The next 30 seconds, what's the conflict? What's going on here? Why is there tension? What is the source of emotion in this skit? That's the next 30, okay? The next minute, so the third part, the next minute is going to be the actual conflict itself. Maybe it's going to be a fight. Maybe it's going to be a very dramatic discussion between the two people or whatever's on screen, whatever you know, you're allowed to use on stage you need to define this conflict here, and this is where it's going to be something fun. Maybe there's action happening, maybe there's a fight, maybe there's a big dramatic scene or a heartfelt monologue to the other person, whatever it might be, that's what's gonna happen in this next minute, okay? So, introduction. Introduce the conflict and the conflict. That should take about two minutes. The last 30 seconds to a minute should be that conflict being resolved in some way, okay? Maybe, in this case, it's the fight about to end and there's going to be some dramatic statement made by the good guy at the end or the bad guy at the end, whatever's happening. Maybe it's going to be the two lovers actually coming together and resolving whatever, you know, whatever conflict was going on. Maybe they don't get together at the end. Whatever the ending to the story is, you've got the next 30 seconds to a minute to wrap it up, okay? So that's the basic structure of what your skit should be. Introduction, 30 seconds. Introduce the conflict, 30 seconds. The conflict itself, one minute, and the resolution, or what happens at the end of the conflict, the last 30 seconds to a minute, okay? That's the structure of your skit. Okay, the third part of writing the skit. Remember how I said the three parts? The first part is actually picking what you're gonna be doing. The second part is writing it. The third part is adding in the wow factor. What is going to be exciting about this skit, okay? A very easy way, if you don't really know how to create excitement or generate emotion in your skit, is at the e end of each section that I mentioned in the previous step, do something. So at the end of the introduction or the beginning of the introduction, make something happen. At the end of the introduction of the conflict, do something. End of the conflict, do something. At the end of the resolution, do something. Whatever that something is, make sure it's something that will add to the performance. Maybe in, you know, the wow factor could be anything from, you know, confetti coming out on stage. Maybe it's a costume change. Maybe it's someone entering the stage in a dramatic way. Maybe it's a very cool voice line that comes out of nowhere. Maybe it's something on the projector on the screen behind you that does something really cool. Whatever special effects you can think of, that's where you should add them, okay? It could even be somewhere during the middle of the conflict. It's another good way to do it, okay? But what your goal should be is to escalate bit by bit by bit. You don't want to give away all of your special effects. You don't want to give away, you know, the the peak of the performance at the very start. You know, your peak of the performance should not be a dramatic entry onto stage and the rest of the performance is something boring, okay? Each level should be something better and better and better, okay? Remember, the goal of your skit is to make the audience feel something. Going back to your, you know, high school English class, whatever it might be, the same thing with telling a story about, you know, introduction, middle part, uh, conflict and conclusion. The excitement level of the reader should constantly be going up, and then towards the end it might be like a slight down, okay? 
But in this case, you're gonna want to make it go up the whole way, or maybe the same way, up and then down. It should not be up at the start and then down for the rest of it. The excitement level should keep increasing each time, okay? So adding that wow factor, whatever special effects, whatever like Shazam or wow is gonna happen on stage, make sure you add them into your performance, you know, at the end of each section minimum of the skit structure or in an increasing way as the skit goes on. And there you have it. That's how to write a skit. Easy, easy, isn't it? Three steps, three steps. You pick your topic, you write the skit in the format that I've shown you, and then you add the wow factor at the very end, okay? Don't forget, your goal is to make the audience feel something. They have to feel some sort of strong emotion. That's how you know that you've done a good job with your skit. It's very tough to kind of figure out at this point in time if you've written a good, uh, a good skit, if you've written a good uh, script altogether at all, because you don't really know what the final product's gonna look like. You can only kind of envision it in your head, okay? So, the thing that is actually going to make or break your skit performance entirely is your audio recording, okay? You might have the best script in the entire world of a concept for a stage performance, but if your voice lines suck, if your music sucks, if you're using something that sounds terrible, your performance is not going to be very well received. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. But don't worry, I got you, okay? What I'm going to go into next is how to do a good audio recording of your skit, okay? I'm gonna show you step by step, things that you're gonna need, what you're gonna need to do to get a good audio recording and how to put that all together, okay? So, that's what I'm gonna talk about in the next video in this series, which you can find again right here.